Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we have some slight differences from before. Notice on the left here, we have a voltage source that doesn't turn on until T equals zero seconds. So when this switch opens, that's when this voltage source turns on. This one stays permanently on at 10 volts. We have a capacitor on this branch and two resistors. So again, we're going to use a general technique to find an equation that describes the voltage across a capacitor as a function of time, presumably at starting from time equals zero. In the next video, we will also try to find an equation for the current as a function of time in this circuit. So again, we'll use the standard technique, the general strategy, where first we find these three values right here. So starting with number one, we want to find the voltage across capacitor when time is equal to zero. At the very moment that the switch opens, what has been happening? While well, the switch was closed, but there was no voltage coming from this source. So we had a single voltage source over here that pushes current through the circuit. And of course, once this is fully charged, then the voltage would go, the current would go through this resistor and this resistor coming back to the terminal right over here. Since these two would be in parallel to one another, the voltage drop across the capacitor would be the same as the voltage drop across each of these resistors, which must be the same as the voltage across the source. Because of that, the voltage across the capacitor must be equal to 10 volts at T equals zero. Then as time goes by, this switch is now open. Now this voltage supply provides the 30, volt, 30 volts, pushing current through this resistor, this resistor, this resistor, and through the capacitor until it fully charges. So at that point, we can say that the voltage across the capacitor, when time is equal to infinity, when a large amount of time has gone by, that means the voltage across this capacitor will be equal to the voltage across this resistor. So then we have to find out that the voltage across the 20 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage of the source, which is 30 volts, times the ratio of the 20 ohm resistor divided by the sum of the two resistors, which is 10 plus 20. So that would be equal to 20 divided by 30, which is 20 volts. That means at infinity or a large amount of time has gone by, there's a 20 volts of potential difference across the capacitor. The next thing we we'll want to do is find the time constant. The time constant is equal to the resistance times the capacitor. But what is the resistor in this case? Well, notice that once the switch is open, this part of the circuit is no longer part of the remainder of the circuit. We just have this part of the circuit remaining. We have voltage going through this to this resistor, through this capacitor, and through this resistor. In other words, if you think about the capacitor here, if you want to go from one terminal to the next terminal of the capacitor, you come around here, and notice you can go through both paths, through the 10 ohm resistor or through the 20 ohm resistor. So relative to the capacitor, these two resistors are in parallel. So the resistance therefore becomes R is equal to the product R1 times R2 over the sum R1 plus R2. So in this case, that would be 10 times 20 divided by 10 plus 20, which is 200 divided by 30, which is 20 divided by 3 ohms. So that's the resistance that we need to use for the time constant. So the time constant is going to be 20 over 3 ohms multiplied times 1 quarter of a farad. 4 goes into 20 5 times, so this would be 5 thirds of a second, which is 1.67 seconds in decimal form. So now we have the voltage at t equals 0, the voltage across capacitor at infinity, and the time constant. We're now ready to come up with our equation. So the voltage across capacitor as a function of time is equal to the voltage across capacitor at infinite amount of time, which is 20 volts, plus, now we take the difference of the voltage across the capacitor, which is 10 volts, minus the voltage across the capacitor at time equals infinity, which is 20 volts, and that would be e to the minus t over tau, and tau, the time constant is 5 thirds of a second, so divided by 5 thirds of a second. And that can then be written as voltage across capacitor would be equal to 20 volts. That would be minus 10 volts times e to the minus 3 over 5 t divided by seconds. 
and that would then be the equation of the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. In the next video, we're going to find the current to the circuit as a function of time based upon what we found over here. I'll show you how to do that next. And that's how it's done.